Hi everyone, Ellie here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. It's very nice to have you today. Um, same top, same scene. Yes, I'm continuing to rank some products in my makeup collection because I thought it would be a good and fun idea. So if you haven't already checked out the one where I ranked all 22 of my foundations, that will be down below in this video. Um, but today I thought I'd do my primers. Primer has been a thing that I've really got into. Um, something I never ever used to use. So I feel like that's why I wanted to do this because I never used to use it. I never really used to see the point in primer, never noticed the difference until I discovered some of these. And now my game has changed, I tell you. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I just wanted to say behind me as well, I get a lot of comments about my wallpaper here behind me. So it is a sort of metallic-y finish wallpaper with obviously birds and butterflies and flowers. Duh, you can see that yourself. Um, I think it's by the brand Art House. I bought mine from the range UK but you can also find it on websites like Amazon I've seen it on um I think it's also on what was the other one Wayfair yeah it's also on Wayfair um if you just type in um sort of silver and purple butterfly flower wallpaper it should come up for you that's all I type so if you just want to sort of have a little look all I'd say is it's very hard to apply just a disclaimer because it's a very sort of like metallic -y finish so there is some sort of like bumps and crumbs but not that you guys can see so I just let over a dark secret there but um it's only if you really sort of stare up close to it but yeah it just sort of seems to sort of ruffle in areas because it's sort of that like it's sort of like metallic-y paper so it's very hard it sort of like ruffles in area I think I know what I'm talking about there but you know um my auntie done it I didn't even do it but that's what she said so I'm just betraying the message guys um so yeah like I said if you enjoy make sure to give it a big thumbs up and we will crack straight on so I intend not to ramble as much as I did in my last video I'm just going to be like yep four out of ten ten out of ten um we're gonna just jump in we're gonna start with my drugstore as usual we're gonna start off with ColourPop pretty fresh absolutely beautiful one on the skin feels very very light um i'm giving this one an eight out of ten we're starting clean we're starting good eight out of ten it was really really nice on the skin really hydrating um i'm gonna tell you a little bit about each product because i don't want you guys to be like oh so what does it do then yeah so it just feels really really light um very very moisturizing on the skin this one is a new discovery of mine i could not be without it now it's the nyx marshmallow primer smells insane feels insane gives you this sort of it's white so it sort of gives this beautiful brightness under your makeup feels amazing and like I said you smell like a marshmallow so you can't really go wrong uh, it's got 10 skin loving benefits as well which I'm not going to read out but 10 skin loving benefits you you can't go wrong really can you um really great price point as well only about 11 pounds it's it's brilliant it's honestly brilliant I 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 guys that is just 10 out of 10 Next product, Elf Poreless Putty Primer. It's a famous one on the beauty world. I have used mine a lot. Um, I love it. It's very pore filling, like it says it does. Has a very, very nice finish. It feels lovely under your makeup. So I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 as well. I feel like we're going to be scoring high in this video because a lot of these I've just fallen in love with. Like like I said, I never noticed a difference um, before, um, before I started using primer. And then some of these has just come over and I'm like, oh, wow. I really didn't even know that something could like look that nice under the skin. So I'm throwing that out there. Next, we have the XX Revolution Cloud Complexion Primer. This feels like insane. I've never felt anything like this in my entire life. So this is what it sort of looks like. Now, as you can see, it's a thick mousse. It won't come out or anything. Um, just showing you, it's a thick consistency. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my skin. It sort of feels like a bit like when you mix icing sugar with water. Is that consistency. You put it on your hand, right? This is what it does. And you sort of can see the bit of sort of thickness in there, like the stodginess, like it's glue. I rub it in, I rub it in, keep rubbing, guys, keep rubbing. And oh my God, it just dissolves into pure 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 water it is insane i've never felt anything like this in my life and if you don't believe me you're gonna have to buy it to see what i'm talking about um but i think i was reading about these and they have something like 98 percent of water so it's literally made up of like water and basically just a few few products but oh my god it feels insane it just feels extremely extremely light comfortable it just was beautiful on your skin. It really just gives this enriched feeling to your skin. I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 as well. Like I said, I've never felt anything or seen anything like this in my life. So it's just a winner. It's a winner. So I feel like my drugstore section 
got off to a good start. We've only got four drugstore primers. I know I need to shop a little bit more in the drugstore area. Um, but like I said, I'm a little bit more into sort of high-end makeup. But those drugstore, like, oh, those drugstore primers are just, like, life. They're life, okay? Next, um, Smashbox primer we have here. One of, like, very many. It's the Photo Finish Primer Water. Now, this is a primer water as opposed to, you know, a primer product. But, yeah, set and refresh spray. Feels really, really refreshing on the skin. I love to spray this on my brush or my sponge before putting foundation on. Feels very, very lovely on the skin. I just feel like I'm using every word from the dictionary today. Lovely. Um, it just feels really, really nice on the skin. So, I love it. It's also got a really nice sort of, like, applicator. Like, it's a very nice mist. Mm, just looks great so i'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 as well it's a star it's a great price i love it i love it next smashbox primer clearly i love smashbox i do they do the most insane primers so this one is clearly used and abused i've got the littlest bit left of this one this is sort of what got me in to trying the whole smashbox line this is the minimized pores primer now obviously i sort of suffer with a bit of like spot prone skin this is just so insane it blurs the skin like i have never seen in my entire life it literally makes you look like just like a blur like see the snapchat photo that just blurs you it's just like a pure blur and your foundation just sits like butter on top of that this it's just oh it's insane it's honestly the best pore filling product i have used it just feels amazing it's just perfect it's, it's beautiful i'm giving this one 11 out of 10 because it's just it's brilliant it's such a great pore filling primer it's, it's insane I, I could not be without that primer i tell you um let's continue with my smashbox ones we next have the super light smoothing blur smoothing blur i feel like i need to slow down i'm like 100 miles per hour today um this lightweight primer smooths perfects and preps skin so i have only used this twice i believe um and i really really like it i don't like it as much as my um my pore one because obviously that one's just a very very matte pore um filling one but this is super nice as well because it feels a little bit creamier like i said with the minimized pore ones it's a little bit thicker it's a little bit more matte this is also very very hydrating at the same time gives you a very smoothed look like says in the title um so this is a great one again i would give this a 10 out of 10 for sure my other one's an 11 out of 10 but this is definitely still a 10 out of 10 it's a great product and i've only used it like twice and already i'm like yeah this is just great it's such a great one honestly guys i feel like i'm just you guys just need to buy every primer in this video because they're just all honestly insane i feel like none of them are going to get lower than like an eight because i'm insane actually one of them might i'm looking at you over there next smashbox primer and i think this is my last smashbox primer um this is the primanizer the primer and moisturizer it feels very very hydrating on the skin also acts as a moisturizer as it says um it feels really really nice it hydrates for 24 hours um and it also locks on makeup which I, I don't read the back of this very much but it feels amazing on the skin super hydrating beautiful finish so i'm giving this one 10 out of 10 could you guess Next primer we have here is the KVD Locket Hydrating Primer Base. I think this is such a beautiful one again. And I love how this sort of like pumps up the product so you can use every drop of this product. It's beautiful. It's hydrating. It's silky. It's gorgeous. 10 out of 10 for this one. Um, and I know that all my high-end primers, they are expensive. None of these are sort of under the £20 mark. They're all sort of £20 and over. But do I like definitely recommend every single one of these primer sets? in front of me one billion percent like i could not recommend these more so i'm so happy to be paying the price for these because the quality the formula the base that you get is just so flawless that i just think it's so worth it guys it's so worth it so this is a great one 10 out of 10 um let's pick up this one over here the one i'm not going to probably give a 10 out of 10 now i know this was sort of a big sensation in the beauty world the milk hydro grip primer i'm not the biggest fan I must admit, I was so excited to buy this. I bought the full size, which is £30. I thought, oh, I'm not going to get the mini. I'll just buy the full size because everybody says how great it is. And I thought I would buy it. But honestly, my my expectations were just so high for this product that I tried it and I was so disappointed. It's very, very tacky and gloopy. My makeup separates. If I put this underneath, um, a lot of my foundations actually separate with this as my base. Um, it's, super, it's, it's just extremely tacky. It feels like you're literally smothering PVA glue all over your face. This is just my opinion. You know, a lot of people love this primer 
and that's great. Um, I've only used it about three or four times and because it is such a cult favourite, I do want to try it just a little bit more to see if my opinion changes. But every time I use this, I'm sort of like, mm, no, my foundation separates. I have to then sort of take off the base um, and like it, it doesn't sort of build well. If I put this on foundation, it sort of starts to separate. If I put another layer of foundation on, it just separates even more and we're left with like no foundation. So um, yeah, it's not a great one, but maybe I haven't found the right foundation to complement it. So if you've used this and you find a great foundation that works nicely on top, then please do let me know because I'm just not on a winner with this one. So I'm going to give this one a six out of 10. No, actually I'm going to give it a, no, a six is a bit too generous, I think, because I just, I've not liked it at all. So I'm going to give this a three out of 10, actually. Um, I think a six was being very generous. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, all I'd say is that obviously, again, I like the packaging where it sort of pushes it up um, and it smells nice. But other than that, there's nothing sort of great about this primer. But like I said, hopefully my opinions will change. But yeah, that's a three out of 10, which is disappointing because that's the only one in this video I'm going to say, no, I don't really recommend this, that, that product at this point in time. Um, we've got a few primers here that I have sort of put aside, which I haven't used yet. But I've got the Jouer Matte Primer and the Honest Beauty Matte Primer. <laughs> both matte primers um clearly i love a matte primer but i haven't actually used these yet so i just set, set them aside um and i'll give you my opinions once i've sort of tried those out but i can't really rate it if i haven't tried it so next primer we have here is the becca backlight priming filter becca's no longer a brand anymore which sure sucks but uh because this was really really nice all i'd say is this is super glowy like this is in your face blinding glow so although it's like a really really nice primer and you think it sort of will give more of a backlight look i've got to use a full cover foundation with this because if you use anything less like you're just going to look like a disco ball so um i would give this a 7 out of 10 because i really like the product i think the primer i definitely recommend it all i'd say is you just need a little bit of coverage on top because otherwise you're gonna shine like you are really gonna shine um which i don't typically like that much because i don't like to look too too glowy um i like to look more matte um but it's still an absolutely great product so we have that one um next we have my laura mercier gang so say hello gang we have four of them um clearly i have a bit of an obsession when i like one in the line i've got to buy like like the whole other line uh, which is a bit obsessive to be honest but you know so the one that sort of got me falling in love with it all, of course, was the blurring primer, just like with the Smashbox one. It's super beautiful. It blurs beautifully. It feels, this one actually feels really hydrating as well though, which I love. It feels really, really nice and silky. So this one's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. It smashes it. It's beautiful, 100%. Um, and then I've got the Illuminating, which I prefer much more to the Becca one. This again is a 10 out of 10 for me. It's more of a sort of lighter glow. It's just sort of like that hint of glow, which I like is a hint. Um, and all of these primers are silicone free as well. So they feel sort of very silky, very moist moisturizing on the skin i absolutely love so again 10 out of 10 for this one it's it's just great it's great guys next we have the perfecting one which i'm not too sure what it does in a way i suppose it smooths and just makes your skin look really great i love the primer like the primer is great and i use this one i'd give this a 9 out of 10 because i'm still like oh what does this do i don't notice a ton of difference when i use this is opposed to like some of the other primers that have big factors so this with this one i'm like oh what do you do if you get what I mean. So that's why I'd give this one a 9 out of 10. Because I, I need to do a little bit more discovering with this one. That's why I'd give that one a 9 out of 10. And same with this one. The protecting one. I haven't really used this. I've used this once. Um, but it has got SPF 30. Which is insane. So I cannot wait to get try this out in the summer. I got these in the winter time. So I haven't actually sort of had the right time to use this one. But I'm super excited to. Because I feel like I will. Like I would just love this. Wait I've just realised it says on the back what they do. Oh no, it doesn't. I was just like, oh, it says on the back. It says on the back on the protecting, but not on any of the others. So I was like, oh, read. No, it doesn't say anything. So that's why I don't know. But yeah, with the sunscreen one, it has SPF 30. So I cannot wait to use this out in the summer. But yeah, so for now, this is a nine out of 10 again, because I'm like, what do you sort of do? Um, because I tried that out in the winter and I don't think that's the best time to use that product, but hey ho. Next, we've got my Benefit Lovelies here. Um, I don't I haven't actually used this one either or have I let me just have a little look no I haven't I thought I did but I haven't this one's still got a silicone seal on it um I I have had a lot of new primers recently and I didn't want to use them all because 
um, I just thought to myself, I don't want to open every product um, when I've got a lot of promos on the go. So I thought I would sort of keep a few sealed for when a few like expire and stuff. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried this one, so I'll let you know my thoughts. But so we've got all the little originals. Um, we've got the Pore Professional um, Hydrating. It feels super hydrating and beautiful on the skin. 10 out of 10. Gorgeous hydrating product. Love it. The um, Pearl Primer, 10 out of 10. It gives you this beautiful glow underneath your makeup. It feels insane. Super silky. Beautiful. Love it. And of course, our little classic pore primer. We love those pore primers. 10 out of 10. Absolutely lovely. These primers are just insane. I just love the packaging as well. I'm sorry. I love the packaging. Um, they all just have such amazing skin benefits. Um, they just all work so differently on the, um, the base of the makeup and they just all feel great. So I love them. Next primer, we have the Instant Retouch Primer by Fenty. I love Fenty Beauty. As you guys know, the Fenty Beauty Matte Foundation is my favourite foundation of all time, like ever to exist. So I love using this when I use the Fenty Foundation. It feels super soft and matte, super silky, beautiful. I'd give this a 9 out of 10 because I haven't used it that much. I've only used this about two or three times, so I don't have a full opinion. I like to use things quite a lot of times. Um, I know I've said with a few primers, I've used it twice and I fell in love. That's because I've noticed something really wow about it um but yeah I'm sort of just waiting to see this little bit of wow from this one um so yeah that's why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 but still great because I just love Fenty I love it and our last two little primers here so the first one we have the Too Faced Hangover this is a classic in the beauty world I'm going to give this one a um eight out of ten um mine actually broke so i don't know whether anybody else is broke but i actually have to like undo it and then sort of squeeze products out which i don't like to do i like to use the pump um i think the pump got a little bit clogged but um it's that's sort of why i would mark this down but it's really nice because it's got coconut water probiotic um base ingredient and skin reviver it's got a lot of good things in this primer that just make your skin look great um nothing that sort of wows me about it but it is a nice product it's a really nice product so eight out of ten and the last primer we've got here i'm gonna give this an eight out of ten haven't really used it i've only used this the once so i don't have an opinion on it no, i used it the first time and i really liked it it's the illuminating primer so it gives this really nice sort of soft glow um i think the point of like rare beauty's black brands it was supposed to be very soft very natural very sort of like within so that's why i really really like this also got that nice packaging where it sort of comes up as well it's a bit shame that it's like this plastic packaging because this was actually a lot of money and i thought it would sort of be a nice glass package products but hey ho that doesn't you know it's not the end of the world so yes i would give this an 8 out of 10 until i discover more because my thoughts have not change so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i really really love primer and i really enjoyed ranking today's primer so i hope you enjoy if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching